Hi everybody, it's Jeff. Uh, this is going to be part 43 of the Thunder Model Scammel Transporter build. 135th scale. Um, it's going to be a short video again. I did quite a bit more painting off camera, but I wanted to show you what I'm up to. Okay, let's go down the bench. Be right back. Okay, first thing I did this morning was mix up some more Olive Drab, the uh, Mr. Color 304. This is a Mr. Surfacer jar. I, I hang on to a few of these. I put one of these and the equivalent of one of these of the uh, Mr. Color leveling thinners in this jar and then I mix them together and put them in. What I do is I dump the jar in then I fill it with uh, thinners again and I give it a really good shake to get most of the paint off. There's still just a little bit in there. But then I dump that in and then I thoroughly mix it with my little badger uh, mixer there. Works really good. So I had, I had a little bit of uh, olive drab left in here so I just added to it. But I've sprayed a lot today. Um, this was done a few hours ago. Okay. It's going to need probably a little more. Because it's there's just a few spots I wasn't able to really get first time around. I think it looks pretty good. Okay. I'm sure there's a few thin spots. But that looks pretty good. This was on my airbrush. I used three full pots of this just on this alone. I used the 0 .5, 0 0.15 needle. Uh, I like to spray with a small needle when I can because I'm not flooding it on. I can kind of get into the corners and everything. So it took a while with that small needle. But yeah, three full cups of paint just just for this so while I was in the mood for painting here's the let's see if we can get a little closer here's the chassis for the Bedford and the engine and stuff you'll never see I won't bother detailing that I'll probably paint the exhaust pipe in a rust but the majority of this is just going to stay the olive drab. I think it turned out pretty well. Okay. Here's the gas tank and the, uh, the spare tire will sit right here. So that all turned out pretty well. And here's the floor of the cab. Yeah, I, I'm going to go back and I'll touch up the uh, gear shift levers in black and, you know, maybe do a little sponge chipping on the floor in a few places there. But then I've got two seats to add here. And that'll go in through the bottom of the, of the uh, cab. That's not the way the, the kit was designed, but I modified a few things to get it to go in from the bottom. I'm not going to do it now because it's pretty tight, but give you an idea. And then let's see, here's the hubs for the wheels. Here's some braces for the seats in the back. And there's the dash. You can see the detail in it there. I'm going to paint those gauges up a little bit. Not anything really detailed, but there's no uh, no uh, decals or anything provided for that. So I'll just do a, do a little, you know, uh, Posca pen or something and kind of kind of highlight the knobs and whatnot. But that's, that's kind of where I'm at right now. So I kind of worked on both of them today. I've still got to do something with this. Um, I'm going to have to, there, there's, the Mickey Mouse pattern on the side here and then on here and it goes up into the boxes. And you can see there's, 
I didn't notice this till the primer went on there, but there's a little bit of sink right there on both sides where these these boxes were molded. Uh, I'm not going to go back and try and fix it now. I don't think you'll really notice it once I get a flat coat on there. But there will be some seats and things that will go in here. But I've got a... I've got to spray this on the inside in the drab and then I've got to put a wall here and then I'll paint that and then there's a roof that'll go on it. So we're making progress on a couple of things today. Alrighty guys, I hope you guys are all having a really good day. Um, take care, it's warm. Well, it's, it's about 30 outside right now but we're expecting it to drop down a little bit colder overnight again. So. Ah, uh, that's the way it is here in Colorado, <laughs> and I'm sure elsewhere. All right, you guys all have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.